Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, this is your boy James, a.k.a. Hollywood J. Black, live in the building once again. Back with another Simple Black Reacts. I got my mans, my main mans, who's up at 5 something in the morning to do what we need to do on his time. Big MF and Citizen in the building. How you doing today, sir? Happy Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. You guys... Um, like, we have a double Nemo filler day today. Is that what this is? Double Nemo filler day, and I think we probably have to. Are, are we gonna? Is this one gonna be first? Are you gonna adjust the times after it uploads? Or are you gonna? Are you what you no, gonna do? This one is coming out as long as you throw it in there. When I get to work, I say for nine a.m. today. Oh yeah, it's gonna be up. It's, it's gonna be up there. So it'll be the noon Eastern, nine a.m. specific time. Yes, sir. <laughs> specific time. All right. So, Big Sid went to sleep. He was about to go to sleep. He was about to lay his pretty little head on his pretty little pillow. And he does what all of us 40-year-old dudes before we lay our pretty heads on our pretty pillows. Go on YouTube and see what the fuck is going on. And go, lo and be fucking old. Nima Phila right there teasing him. I'm like, Sid, why didn't you react to me? You recorded yesterday. Why weren't you in Hollywood there, huh? We've been because it didn't time. come out to 10 p.m. Pacific <laughs> Standard Time. <laughs> I thought you loved us, Sinful Black. I thought you loved us. We do love you. That's why we're here. Okay. So, <laughs> now that Nima Phil has called out to us and we've answered like they were sirens in the night, it is time to drive this ship right into their palace so they can take our souls and eat us alive like the sucky by that they are. Big Sid, are you ready? If that's the case, hell yeah. <laughs> Without further ado, this is Nima Filla, a ray of light right here on Sinful Black Reacts. Let's go. And sorry for the noise I'm getting my vitamins. He said, sorry for the mess. Oh, it's okay, we still love you, Sin. We still love you. Singing, they, they breaking it. The, they were starting the songs in English now, my guy. They wow. said, this, they, 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 huh? wow. <laughs> she said, You know what? Let me celebrate my graduate's degree in English, motherfuckers. Okay, <laughs> and, and let me show you, my motherfuckers, what you're going to be experiencing at that experiencing. At the Rock Fest in California later this year. Oh man, she said, I'm ready. She said, Are you ready? Because I'm ready. <laughs> Jeez. This is the, the best way to start the day. This is, this is, no, see, this is right here. This is, um, for those, for, if you're a Japanese rock fan and you haven't heard American rock like as much, this is very much what American rock is. To this day, and it's not it, it, it's it's beautiful music that's not getting the attention that it deserves. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Um, because everybody's so focused on hip hop and you know what I'm saying trap hip hop and you know all that and crap that Takashi Six Nine exactly that there's beautiful rock music in America that nobody listens to. Like Motionless and White is one of our favorite bands on this channel, and. I, I <laughs> Rhea Ripley, God, I love her. She's a huge Motionless and White fan. Um, but but that's this is essentially what American rock is. I think that this is kind of their introduction into the American rock 
style of thing, if you if I call it right, because everything that they've done has been more Japanese rock focused. Um, and then, with the exception of uh, with the exception of dissension, exception of dissension. But there was also the one song that was that was more focused. They had that that Middle Eastern type rock flavor yep. into it. Yep. But this right here is what we. This is our wheelhouse, baby. I'm loving it's this. Hard. I'm loving this. All right, let me go back just a second. Go back. Yeah, Yeah, let me go back just a second and let's get this shit going. I love the braids, man. I wasn't ready for this this morning. When she switches over to Japanese, you see what the word is. Right? Okay. Listen, this is this. You want to talk about motivational music, my friend? Okay, let me go. Let me let me let me put her center stage right there. Let, we want to talk about motivational music, my friend. Um, th- this, this, a positive, a very positive rock song. Okay. Yes. Um, a, a rock song where the, 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 the whole theme of it is, is be a ray of light. Don't worry about all the shit that you've gone through. Um, all the, all the pain, all the tears, live your life, you know, because you feel like. Sometimes shit gets overwhelming. Let's not let's not get it twisted. We're going through a lot of shit right now. Over, yes, over you know, physically, mentally, emotionally, and dare I say, politically. You know what I'm saying? That we're fighting we're fighting battles outside, and we're fighting battles internally. Um, and to have a song that doesn't just you know what I'm saying get you make you feel depressed. The rock song that. Let you want you to embrace the dark. Instead, mm-hmm. take that, take all that bullshit that you've gone through, and live your life and be a ray of a, a shining ray of light to others. You know what I'm saying? Because you can overcome this. And hell, it's a song that if you needed a friend, she said, "I'll be there." Shit, listen to the music. I, I'll be there to be a ray of light. And that's even that's even better. You know what I'm saying? To have somebody be like, "Yo." I know what you're going through. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna I ain't gonna let you turn away. I ain't gonna let yeah. you I ain't gonna let you down. I'll be here. That's the type of song that you need on a beautiful Thursday morning while we're recording this. To and, and, and I like the fact that this is American based rock too. Not not to not to take away anything from I you know, we love Japanese rock. And I'm not trying mm-hmm. to discount Japanese rock for anything. I love Japanese rock for what it is. Um, but this is a, they're going on tour to coming to America, right? So it's one of those things that as an intro to American audiences, you need a song like this to the, the stylist, the style, the, you know, of course the English language, of course, um, 
to introduce yourself to audience to a, to a genre or or set of people that may have never heard you before. This is perfect. This is a perfect introduction. You want to know how great Nima Phil is? Right here. This is it. There it is. Big big in your your thoughts. So, touch on a couple points that you made. There is so much, so much, so much negativity in the world today regarding everything. Yep. Um, we often lose sight that everybody's going through shit. Mm-hmm. It's one of those, I, your problems are your own, yes. You don't feel like you can talk to people, trust us, people out there you talk to. Yeah. Um, like, I, I'm sure you've seen the comments on one of our videos. A person was talking about their, something happened. I'm not going to go into very specifics, but <clears throat> I think it was, um, I want to say it was a baby metal song or a shadow academy, one of the two, but they, they use that band to help them get through this tragedy that happened in their life. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> But that's what music is supposed to do. Music is supposed to bring out that happiness, that joy, the you know, the caring. That's what music is for. Well, exactly. exactly. Because it just triggers something in your brain that's like, you know, it, it it it's shit right now, but it can always be worse. Oh yeah. Well, keep in mind we've also been. Um, remember, remember when we dropped our DMX tributes, right? Yeah. And remember when. The dude came in just about every DMX video, and he was feeling so heartbroken about the loss of DMX uh, that our videos, you know, going through memory lane and talk about the positives of DMX helped him cope uh, with the death of DMX because he meant a lot to a lot of people that, uh, in a way that people would never understand. And it's one of those things that people are like, oh, how did this artist affect your life? Trust me, they do. Yep. Yeah. Mine and my, me and Hollywood's whole friendship started basically because of music. Yeah, we uh, we formed the bond. We formed the bond over music that cannot be broken by simple means. Okay, mm-hmm. right? That it, it, it turned from a bond to music and it turned into a brotherhood. Point blank, period. And even when we're we're, we're upset at each other, or you know, maybe we're, we're, we don't want to talk to each other physically at the time, we pass each other some music. And it's back to old times again, okay? <laughs> and we've done that several times. So trust me, it's, it's, it's sometimes... It it's one of those, it's like, you know, me and Hollywood here have been, fuck, 25 plus years. 25, <laughs> we're, know, at tw- we're, we're, we're at a... We, we originally met in 94, and then it got relinked yeah. up in 99. So we're we're almost at like a 30-year friendship, sir. So We're almost at, we're almost at the Undertaker stage of friendship. That's what the <laughs> exactly. We're going to retire, leave our boots in the middle of the reaction, and then leave. Okay, I don't know how that's going to work. <laughs> and then come back the next day and do another reaction. Look at it. <laughs> but that's the point of what I'm trying to say. Sometimes there are songs out there, and be like, Big Sis, there's songs out there or things that are that in your life that are done that when you look at it, it inspires you to be great. Okay? It, is, it gets you out of that dark hole, that dark place. It inspires you to do great things. And this is one of those songs. Uh, to me, I, I can't speak for everybody else. Maybe two, some people just hate positivity. P- positivity. Maybe they're anti New Day. Okay. Maybe those. So, don't... I was about to say. I was about to say. If you hate positivity, what I need you to do is go on Twitter, follow Mister Biggie Langston, the man who's still having to wear a brace on his neck and his back because his spine is not hearing healing correctly. Yeah. But the motherfucker is the most positive person in the world. Yes. Yes, and and he he's an inspiration to others. You want to talk about dark times? Go talk to that man. Listen, but he's positivity personified. Um, p- please make sure if if you're an American fan, American rock fan, and you haven't heard Nima Filler, please follow them. Please watch our videos. Please find out why they are to us why they're as good as we feel that they are, and deservingly yes. so. Um. Yes, and- they're getting massive exposure right now, which is 
beautiful because we've been waiting for that for the last year and a half. Yep. For them to start to finally make some noise in the industry. Yep. To it's, show that, hey, we're here. We're not going anywhere. Nope. They're about to take over and it is going to be fucking wild. All That's right. all I got to so, say about that. So, 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 big. as you guys know, Big City Challenges out there. 5K likes before the end of December. Fox Fast Tattoo with not a quote under it. Um, also, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, yada, 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 Rami. Remember, Hollywood, she gave you guys some homework to tell us what yada, Rami is the slang word for Japanese. Uh, yep, I'll add, you know what? I'll add to the challenge since we're on a Nima Filler video. I'll add to the challenge. If we get five, because I have a gift certificate for $300 for a tattoo that I still have yet to use because I never know, not know what I wanted to get. God damn it, we get the 5K, I will get the the Nemo full of flower on my hand, my right hand. I'll do it. If we get the 5K before the end of the year, I will use that. Be best believe, okay? Oh, okay, I'm going to one-up you here. Oh, here we go, the one-upsmanship. If somehow, some way, we get the 10K by the end of the year. Ooh, 10K. By the end of the year. Okay. Not only will I get the fox face, but I also get the flower. Oh, look at that. Look at you. Look at you. All right, bet. The challenge has been laid out. Where y'all at? That's all I'm going to say. So, by word of my man, Big Sin, uh, make sure. We, I'll do the outro this time. Or at least the, the like, comment, and subscribe outro. Make sure that if you want to see us tattoo our asses off, uh, make sure first you get us to 5K, and then make sure you like, comment, subscribe, do all the beautiful things, ring the bell, so you can make sure that you follow Sinful Black React so you can watch amazing videos just like this and many more. Remember, it's not just about reactions on this channel. We're going to have a little bit of fun here, too. So, with that being said, Big Sin, take us out of here, sir. All right, so also, what you just said, we're not just about reactions. I am going to have a full Marvel movie breakdown from the Marvel beginnings to where we're at now. And I'm also going to do a DC one to show, to try and point out what is wrong with the company when it comes to movies. But with that being said, my name is Big Sin. That over there is Hollywood J. Black. We are Sinful Black Reacts. We are out this thing. Deuces.